Hello and welcome to my latest video. I'm Würfel and today we're gonna take a look at the progress on my Dice Tower model. I thought I'd give a little bit of an update in this place. Um, yeah, so far the basic model didn't change much, uh, but I worked out some improvements. You can see here in this version there's an added gate and the plan for this was that this section over here is a little bit critical to uh, print because you have a fine tip that prints mid-air so there's a lot of support needed and this part is pretty weak and in some settings you might cause some trouble when you remove the um, supports and you break off this edge so I Try to find a solution to get this a little bit better supported and for that I added this frame on the outside. The problem with this frame is that it's pretty thin in this section so of course with a good styled in printer this should be no problem but the focus was to create a model that is easy to access and easy to print and um, to get a nice result so I made this a little bit bigger and I ended up with this version here and you can see I just made the frame a little bit wider and this prints a lot nicer and easier and yeah that's the update for this version here um, also what is the main reason for this video? I have my box edition tower, which is this one. So you can close the bottom section as, I, as you saw in the previous video. By the way, you can see here, that is what I meant. It's a little bit critical with this small section here and it might just look ugly even if it's, uh, if it's there. And um, yeah, to come back to this uh, problem of this one, uh, when you load up your dice, these dice came in from this side, so they are pushing against the gate. So with some rattling and more dice behind it, it might be possible that they push open the gate. And I don't want this to happen. Also, with time this becomes a little bit um, easier to move. In the first place it's, it's nice friction, but over time and usage the surface will get smoother, there's not a lot uh, of spring load behind uh, the connection here, so it becomes a little bit uh, looser. So um, I thought I'd go a step beyond and uh, created a new version that was this guy here. And you might hear it, there's a click. I added a little bit of a notch uh, and a lever down here. I hope you can see it, it's inside here at this part and there's the notch on the inside of the gate. So in the last part here, right before it's closed, you hear that click and now nothing can happen. Also, I moved uh, the way the gate moves to the other side because I hope then I have no trouble with the dice, but it has a huge problem. Take a look here. You can see a lot of the inside diameter is now blocked. So for regular dice, no problem. But for a little bit bigger dice, they get stuck down below here. So yeah, I needed to get a step back and I switched to the other side. Also, I managed to uh, uh, improve a little bit the lever design and now we have a nice clicking lock for this. So here you will see nothing will come loose. The nice thing is the placement of this is already uh, in a spot that the um, medieval gate with its uh, little um, bars up here. Uh, this will uh, work without uh, any problems with this. So I just needed to change the base model and add the little level lock and also the futuristic gate 
and yeah then I just did some minor changes to the lid because I want to improve the printability and the surface down below here was very small so I decided to remove the bevel around here make just a small radius and now I have a little bit more of a build surface here so this sticks much better to the build plate so yeah that's the overall updates to this of course um, the models are still available free at Thingiverse so you can download them and play around of course uh, I changed nothing in the geometry so you can take your lid that you already printed and put it on top of the new tower that you print. Um, I made versions uh, starting from 50 millimeters height, so you can start a test print. Also, um, this this key um, on the lever is quite big. Um, regarding to the stiffness of your PLA that you print with, you might need to trim it a little bit down, but you can go in with a knife. On Thingiverse, I got a picture to show you where you need to cut a little bit lower. So if this part here is a little bit too hard, uh, you can trim it a little bit down, so it's not a uh, huge, um, huge amount of force needed to move that part. Um, but that is a thing, maybe you print it in uh, PET G or so, um, then you might uh, Come good with the model as is, so it regards on your properties of the material. That's so far from this point uh, of this update here. Um, I will link the files down below, of course, with everything you need. If you have any questions about the models, if you need something specific or have some trouble with your printing, of course, hit me. Uh, a comment down below uh, or send me a message so I can try to fix that um, yeah and as always thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video